Welcome to a brief tutorial on how to navigate the NEA Foundation Global Learning EdCamp site. Uh, as you can see, I'm at hopin.com slash events slash NEAF EdCamp slash registration. Uh, that's the link that I'm at in this browser. We recommend that you use Chrome as your browser for today. And if you've already registered, you will click on the blue link that says enter event and it will let you into uh, the event which is open right now. If you have not registered, you will click on one of the registration buttons here and you will fill in your information. I'm gonna go ahead and click on enter event and this is going to take me to the reception page which is the home base for everything in the conference today. You may see a window like this that is prompting you to uh, fill in information and like your profile um, and I'm just going to click out of it right now and show you the reception page. So on the left hand side you're going to see several buttons for navigating. In the middle you're going to see some information including the description of the event with important information, the schedule, global organizations that are participating, and our advisory council. On the right hand side you're going to see a collapsible chat window that also includes, um, you can turn, you can close it by clicking on this arrow if you want to see things a little bit larger on your screen, or you can open it up and you will see buttons for uh, direct messages that have been sent to you and notifications, plus access to the conference chat, polls, people directory, Q&A, and the NEA Foundation's Twitter feed. I'll show you that in a moment, but I'm going to start over on the left-hand side. This is the reception page, and the icon for it over here is a little house. So if you need to go home to the reception page, you click here, and you will come back to this page. The next button is going, uh, and while I'm here, I'll, I will come back to the reception page and show you what's there in a minute. The next button over is the stage. This is where everything is going to start live at 1 p.m. Eastern today, um, which right now would be in about five hours. And so you're going to see a live feed of advisory council members and Isabel Cooksey from the NEA Foundation um, guiding us through a process to formulate sessions. Uh, and you will also see that there's a chat here, and this is separate from the main chat. This is a chat just for the stage. So just be aware that that's there. Um, the next button down are sessions. Sessions are Zoom-like rooms where our breakouts will happen. So once we propose topics, people will vote with their virtual feet or will go to one of these rooms based on the topic that's assigned to them. So this is going to... Um, you know, we'll, we'll have, hopefully we'll put the names of the sessions in here later once the schedule is set, but you'll be able to go to this room and enter it and turn on your audio and video if you want to be um, seen and heard. And you can see that I just got out of bed, so my hair's a mess. Um, but this is where this, this is where the breakout sessions will happen in sessions rooms just like this. And you can get to all of them by clicking on the sessions button on the left hand side. Moving down the navigation, you're gonna click on networking. This is a speed networking tool where you can have really brief meetings with people with similar interests. It takes a brave person to do this, um, but if you're looking to meet other people and explore this feature, we really encourage you to try it out. Um, what you're going to do is you just click on join now and then when you're ready to meet someone, you click on join and hopefully hop in will match you with somebody for a meeting that will last between one and five minutes. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but you're welcome to try this out and see if you meet some interesting people. Um, and then the last button down here is a link to the NEA Foundation's Global Learning Fellowship page. So you can learn more about the program in the foundation that are sponsoring uh, today's event. I'm going to go back to um, 
our hop-in site and I'm going to now click on reception again and go back to our home page. In the middle you're going to scroll down and you're going to see description, schedule, global organizations, and advisory council tabs. You also will see when the event is starting. It's starting in two hours uh, because we're opening the networking early for people to play around with. The actual live sessions are starting at 1 p.m. Eastern, so there's you'll see this in the schedule. Um, anyway, when you click on the tabs, it will take you to each of these sections, or you can scroll down the page. Here is where important information and announcements will be if we feel like there's some information that needs to be communicated to everyone. Um, so make sure that you that you look at this carefully. Note that we have an EdCamp guide for participants. This gives you a lot more detail information about the event. So feel free to browse this before and during uh, the EdCamp today because everything you need will be in this document. Um, so this is the description area and we have some suggestions for activities including the fact that you know the registration will be open for this throughout the day. So you can invite friends and colleagues uh, and share information on Twitter using the hashtag NEAF Global. We would really appreciate you getting the word out um, so that we have a large and robust uh, community today. Um, and then if you click on schedule, it's going to take you down to the schedule and you'll see from 11 to 1 today, I'm going to be in the drop-in lounge for to help people. So this will be live starting at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern. Uh, the informal networking um, is using that networking tool that I mentioned earlier, that speed networking. You can try that out informally. Um, GLF fellows are welcome to go to the GLF lounge and, and see other alumni during this time. And then at 1 p.m., that's our opening session. That's when we're going to be meeting together and brainstorming ideas for today's sessions. So um, you're going to join us in the stage. There'll be a little red button that will say that it's live. And you'll meet the Advisory Council and Isabel from the NEA Foundation. Then we're going to have two sessions of breakout rooms based on those topics that we brainstorm. And at the very, very, very end of the uh, Ed Camp, uh, at, at 3 p.m. Eastern, we're going to... Um, have a closing session and some words from one of the um, GLF, the Global Learning Fellows, uh, about her experiences in the program. And then we're going to have some reflective time in breakout rooms for the last few minutes. Uh, GLF alums will go to certain rooms and then everybody else who's not alum of the program will go into this room down here. So that is, um, those. that's a schedule. You can click on the tab that says Global Organizations and it will show you participating organizations for today. The NEA Foundation is our sponsor and host and then we have uh, participating organizations that you can click on and visit. Uh, they have lots of information for you on globalizing your classroom. And hopefully you'll meet their representatives um, in our sessions. We've asked them to learn alongside us today. And then if you'd like to connect with Advisory Council, their information is here. You can click on somebody's profile, I think, um, and learn more about them or visit them on LinkedIn and that sort of thing. So that is the middle section. This is called the reception. And you can navigate it through uh, clicking on these tabs. And uh, this is kind of your home base. On the right hand side, oh, also note that there's a schedule that pops out too. You can click on this button and this will also show you the schedule. Okay, so on to the right hand side of our page and you'll see that there is a collapsible window that will, that you can, um, where you can look at the conference chat. You can see some people have already been in here already and greeting people. This is a good place to introduce yourself. This is also a good place to ask questions if you're confused about what's going on. Somebody will see it and somebody will respond. Um, if you'd like to encourage people to come to a session, you could put the link in here. Uh, but this is the main chat for the for the for the EdCamp today. Okay, there's separate chat 
chats for session rooms and separate chats for the stage. So this is for the reception area. Um, you also will see that we have issued a poll or two. You can look at the people directory and find people that you'd like to connect with. If you click on somebody's profile, you can connect with them on social media, read more about their work if they filled this out, and you can invite them to a video call or to schedule a meeting, or you can send them a message. We ask you to use these tools thoughtfully. This is not for randomly uh, connecting with people necessarily. Uh, if you're going to, you know, the, say, the, the easiest way to connect with people is to send them a message and then they can opt whether they want to connect with you or not. Um, so use these with, with some thought and uh, we prefer that you not, you know, overuse them. Um, Q&A is where you can ask questions that might be helpful to the whole group and we will respond to those. And then the Twitter tab will show you the NEA Foundation's Twitter feed and we would love for you to follow them. There are some buttons on the left, on the right hand side that I think I only have um, because I'm the administrator, so I'm not going to go into those little dots there. Um, at the top of this window, you're going to see how many people are online at a given time. You're going to see a direct messages um, uh, tab, which will show you any, any messages people have sent to you. And you can also start a conversation in here with someone if you'd like to. Um, and there's also a notifications tab, which will show you recent announcements that are important for everyone. Then this is also important. This is your profile. If you click on the circle and you can edit your profile, indicate your interests and um, indicate who you want to be able to send you direct messages, inviting, invite you to meetings and start instant video calls. If you don't want anybody to do that, you can just click on organizers only. Um, but we encourage you to, to, unless somebody's bothering you, to, to leave these open. Um, and then uh, you also will see something that says um, help. And this will take you to support documentation for Hopin. And you can click on um, attendee and it will show you different information about how you manage your account and that sort of thing. There should be a support window here too where you can ask technical questions of Hopin um, or you can come in and you can ask us. You can you know, send me a message or come into the help lounge and I'll try to help you as well. Again, we, help, we recommend that you use, uh, we haven't seen a lot of technical issues with this, but we do recommend that you use Chrome as your browser if you can. That seems to help. Um, so just to review really quickly, you have this right hand section that's collapsible. You can um, read your direct messages and notifications. You can alter your uh, profile. You can control your privacy settings and that sort of thing from this space. We, we recommend that you keep an eye out on the chat just in case there's some important information that's communicated that way. Um, so I think that's it. Um, remember you have this left hand navigation here that will let you go to each section of the conference. Remember that you're going to have um, the reception page, which will have the description of the event, schedule, a list of the organizations that are participating today, and our advisory council featured. You will also see that the event is starting in a couple hours, but remember the live portion is starting at 1 p.m. Eastern. We recommend that you use timeanddate.com or some other tool for time zone conversions if you're confused about the time. Um, and I think that's, I think that's it. Oh, and remember that we have this guide for you too, um, that we emailed early this morning to registrants. It's also linked on the reception page under the description. You'll see it listed here as well. We will be communicating that link several times today, uh, in case people, um, miss the information or registered late. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you for coming. We're so excited to have you here. Uh, it's going to be important that, uh, you know, that you're here to connect with the alumni from this NEA program. And uh, I hope that projects and opportunities will result for all of you. 
Thanks for coming, and we'll see you online a little bit later today. Take care.